Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And today, we're going to be doing a driving tour of Darby, PA. We're in Darby. Welcome to Darby Borough, founded in 1682. We're out here. It's right on the outskirts of Philadelphia, PA. And we're in Darby Township. We're going to be doing a little driving tour. We got the trolley right there in front of us. Accept the trolley. I'm not from Darby, so I'm just gonna be zipping and zigging and then zagging and just, you know, taking random areas to see what it looks like. I wanna see the ambience. All right, so on my right hand side, we have an office building, 6 North 9th Street. One hour parking permitted. We're approaching D Cafe, meet, greet, eat. We got the Salvation Army on my right hand side. We got the Darby Transportation Center on my left hand side. As you can see, we're driving over some trolley tracks. We got Powell Ave on my right hand side. I'm not gonna go down Powell Ave, there look like much is going on there. We got some residential homes on my left hand side. We're going uphill. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on Ridge Ave. Yeah, we're going uphill and this left hand turn is somewhat of an uphill too. This is a two-way street. Looks like cars can drive both ways. All right, we got, what we have, we have, let me roll down the windows a little bit, get some fresh air. We have two-story homes, some with porches, some without porches. For example, the ones on my left don't have porches. They have little lawn terraces. The ones on my right have porches and lawn terraces. It's a mixture of facades. We're now approaching 10th Street, Ridge Ave at 10th Street. 10th Street's also known as Ronald S. Coleman Boulevard. Lieutenant General. All right, we're gonna cross over 10th Street. We have a young woman and her children getting into this Hyundai Ionic. We got Darby Borough Municipal Complex on my left-hand side. Here's where that two-way comes in. Play. As you can see, we had to share the road with them. All right, let me see if I can make a right-hand turn over here. We're now approaching McDade Boulevard or Ridge Avenue and McDade Boulevard. It's pretty hot today, y'all. It's 96 degrees. It's a nice and steamy day. It's not my ideal weather, but I figured I come out and do this tour early. I was thinking about going skinny dipping later. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not even like we got places to go skinny dipping at in Philly, man. What are we gonna do? Go skinny dipping in the fire hydrant. We got Kenwood Road on my left. I'm not gonna go up Kenwood Road. We got Darby Auto Sales on my left hand side. I'm gonna go straight for a few blocks and see what it looks like. Passing Center Street, that was a one-way. We got Green China Restaurant on my left. I'm tempted to make this right-hand turn to see what it looks like. Let's make this right-hand turn. Chef, or Chef Uncle Willie on my left-hand side. There's a lot of signs that say, welcome to Darby. We just passed another that said, welcome to Darby. Could have swore we've been welcome three times already. Passing Mulberry Street, Union Memorial UMC church on my left hand side we're at 10th and summit young gentleman walking by across the street with a southern device olive green shirt and some like emerald green pants that was my high school gym uniform colors the green pants first baptist church on my left hand side let's make this left right here on marks avenue summit street and marks avenue Check it out. The house is on my right hand side. Two story. They got closed porches. They got a little lawn. Street side parking. Now, to my knowledge, Darby does have uh, a crime. I'm not going to say it's of equivalent as Philly, but it definitely does have crime rate. Robberies, shootings. You know, traditional violence that you would expect in most 
urban in environments. approaching CVS Pharmacy coming up we're gonna be on the borderline on Cedar Ave we definitely don't want to go too far off so I'm gonna make this right hand turn because yeah, right now we're on the borderline Cedar Ave Mark's Ave and Cedar Ave kids out there with a basketball. We got a gentleman right here walking around with his mask on. Here in Philly, they just kicked the mask mandate back into effect on 7th for Cedar Ave. I'm gonna just right on 7th Street. We got CSL Plasma on my left hand side. Watch children sign. They got back driveways over here and back uh, parking areas where they can park at. I see brick pointed first floor, sealed porches. The second floor has some brick accent and it has vinyl siding. This is somewhat like a, like an uphill. So Upper Darby has about a dozen or so neighborhoods. Um, they have, but are not limited to, the Arrow Nimink neighborhood. Beverly Hills, Bywood, Drexel Hill, Drexel Park, Highland Park, uh, Lion Nurch, Hills, Kellyville, uh, Kirkin or Kirkland, Oakview, Primos, Sakane, Stonehurst, Terminal Square, and Westbrook Park. And Cobbs Creek runs along the border. It connects uh, the Darby neighborhood to Philadelphia because if you guys take a look at my page I already did a uh, Upper Darby tour and the way we entered was via Cobbs Creek. Cobbs Creek takes us straight to where we're at now. Right now we're a little deeper than we were last time. We came over here via the 95. Got off at Prospect Park exit and then worked our way through here past Havertown and all of that stuff. There was Jay's Auto Service on my left hand side. We got a motorcycle right there in front of us. Yeah, Darby's next to Sharon Hill, uh, Darby Township, Collingdale, Lawns Down, and more. We're at 6 in Greenway Ave. Let me make this left hand turn, 6th Street. Now it's kind of hot right now, and it's considerably early, it's 3 49 p.m. So I can't imagine there being much ambience on this hot muggy day we got this dude on the right cutting some grass right yep he got one of those uh weed whackers we're on fern street okay we're on fern street so we're in darby now there's darby township darby township is near john hines national wildlife refuge at Taniculum. if you're familiar with the channel i've did a walking tour in the John Hines Wildlife Refuge. So if you haven't checked it out, feel free to browse my page. That's like some green outdoor space that Philadelphia provides for free. It's a cool environment. We got Parkview Pizza and Fried Chicken in front of us, Lab Corp, Doral, Dry Cleaners, Business Center, and more. Let's make this right hand turn cautiously. On my left hand side, welcome to Parkview Court Apartments. We're passing Coventry. We got the little Mini Cooper over here tricked out. All right, make a complete stop at the stop sign. We're at Fifth and Fern Street. Now right, we're gonna take this all the way down to the opposite border. I guess you can say the opposite border would be like Pine Street because it doesn't really have an actual defined border. 
but Pine Street will be the last street before it gets to the borderline. Spruce and Pine Street. We're going over some tr trolley tracks. Train tracks, I should say, like freight, freight train, probably cargo train tracks. Now you can look on the World Wide Web and check out Darby PA's crime map and it'll have certain areas highlighted, darker red for being F grade, then you got, you know, orange, then you got yellow, and then you got green, which are, I guess, be the most people friendly neighborhoods. Where I started this tour, I was at, I believe, Springfield Ave and McDade Boulevard. And that came up as one of the red zones. Queen of Pizza on my right hand side. Steaks, hoagies, stromboli, salads, platters, and more. All day delivery. Creative cuts on my left. A catering business, custom fashion boutique. Sh Sheila's Darby Laundromat, J and J Food Market, and more. We got the Darby Trans uh, Center number 11 trolley next to us. Driving over another set of tracks. Ouch. OK Rental Sales and Service. Scissor lifts and more. I guess heavy machinery. You can rent it for the business. I'm going to make this left hand turn right here. Actually, is a no outlet, so I wonder if we're gonna end up running to a dead end because it defines this block as a no outlet. Check it out. I don't see much pollution, I don't see much trash. There's a abandoned house on my left hand side. I see a few like scrap bottles and whatnot, but nothing too uh, crucial. Yeah, this is definitely a no outlet, so that was a lesson learned. But the good thing is, is that we have the turning radius of a go-kart, so we should be, theoretically speaking, we should be all right with this turn. Yeah, literally, a go-kart. <laughs> yeah, that was a piece of cake. We're now approaching Commerce Street, 7th and Commerce. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Commerce. There's a house for sale by owner right here on my right-hand side. This seems to be like a two-way. Now, for all I know, this could be another uh, dead end. And if that's the case, then we'll have to bust another U-turn. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like another dead end. They got garages back here though, which is, I guess, cool for whoever owns those garages. There's a youngster on my right hand side playing basketball in his yard. He has a basketball court, check him out. Shoot it, kid. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Make your shot, make your shot. Make your shot, brother. Shoot. Uh, I couldn't creep any longer. I couldn't creep any longer. And he missed it anyway. <laughs> Better luck next time, kid. Better luck. Hey, we got some kids right here. Oh, okay. The kids come out in the day. Woo -woo. The kids come out in the day. The kids come out in the day. Woo -woo. The kids come out in the day. In the Wild Wild West. The Kumo D Wild Wild West song is tough. All right. Let's make this left hand turn right here. All right, we got some three story houses. The second and third floor with the vinyl side, it looks ugly. That's just my personal opinion. I think those are apartments, but they're ugly looking. And the, the one on the first floor got stucco, and then the second floor and third floor got vinyl. Ooh, yeah. but you know, that's just my opinion. My opinion is is nothing. Who cares about my two cents? Yeah, there's a little cross there. Rest in peace. Is it, what did it say? Daddy's Garden or something? There's a beer distributor on my left hand side. We're approaching Enterprise. We got Philip 66 gas station on my right hand side. Regular's going for 325. 
passing Ridge Avenue. We're on Main Street. We just passed Leonard A. Guy. Wow. What a name for a street. A Leonard A. Guy. <laughs> Charm Cleaners on my left. Old Target. Al Forno Pizza. I'm sorry, I got the hiccups. Al Forno Pizza. We got Bennett's Soup Spot on my right hand side. And several other businesses. Including an African Tropical Food Market on my right hand side. American Dental uh, Healthcare. Super Nail Spa and Hair. And more. I'm gonna roll up the window because, yeah, it's starting to get hot. I thought I was gonna be able to do it, but not doing good. When I'm moving, it's easier because you know you get that wind. Even though it's hot wind, you still get wind. When you're at a standstill, sheesh. We got Pennies by Plaza Flowers in front of us. Visit www.pflores.com. Delivering happiness since 1937. Tell them to sent you, yo. <laughs> and we got another trolley right here. We got John M. Drew Park on my left-hand side. Public drugs on Main. Wow. Ain't it crazy? Apache Fabricators on my right-hand side. Ain't it crazy how you can just like get over-the-counter drugs at a drugstore? The drugstore so blatantly advertises drugs sold here. <laughs> Schmidt Baking Company on my left hand side. We got McDade Boulevard right here. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on McDade where Blessed Virgin Mary Church is at on my left. Avenue. Let's pass Ridge Avenue. I don't want to go back that Ridge. I feel like we already went up Ridge. Darby Auto Center on my left. I feel like we've been through here too. We definitely have. Uh, let's go left then. We got oncoming traffic. Gotta be careful. There's a crab tavern right here. Fine food, spirits, and dancing. Take out beer. We got Darby Auto Center on my left. We got some raised homes. They're raised off of the street level. They have raised terraces, little grassy areas. Some have awnings. Some don't have awnings. They're all brick pointed for the most part. Outdoor uh, seating arrangements. We're approaching Waymouth Road. This is a two-way street as you can see. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn on Waymouth Road. This is the 200 block of Waymouth Road. A gentleman about to cross the street. He got that uh, Kango LL Cool J hat. It's a little bit hot for that, but I don't know. I guess some people find hats refreshing. It keeps them cool, gives them some shade. There's a vehicle behind me, so I'm traveling 15 miles an hour. I'm sorry if it's too fast. Passing Edge Hill Road. We're actually crossing over the Edge Hill. I'm gonna make this left on Spring Valley. This is Spring Valley Road. If they turn with me, I'm just gonna pull over and let them go. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to cruise. Speed limit is 15 miles an hour anyway, so they was trying to be out for no reason. The houses on my left hand side are more street level. There's a few on my right hand side that are above street level. This Jeep on my left hand side looks pretty cool. Nice orange color. Rubicon. Some bumpy streets, potholes. There's a, a stop sign right in the middle of the street. This is a really awkward place to put a stop sign. I guess it's a crosswalk, huh? Still really awkward because it's like right in the middle of the block. Yeah, it's kind of strange. 
Look at the, they got a little silver fire hydrant right here on my right hand side. See it? In Philly, our fire hydrants are orange. We're approaching Berkeley Road. So it seems like they got back uh, driveways with back garages. Yeah, they have their own little alley and stuff. We're back at Waymouth Road. This was like a whole little uh, private community once we turn off into this block. I think it's gonna shoot us right back to where we was at. From where we're at, we can actually head to Southwest Philly. Should we do that? Let's, let's try to head to Southwest Philly from where we're at. Because remember I told y'all the last time we entered through Cops Creek area, like by the Elmwood, you know, El Elmwood Park, which is one of the top 10 worst areas as of 2020. Yeah. We can go to Elmwood Park from here. This will take us to Woodland Avenue. How about I make a right hand turn? I already went left. How about I make a right? You be careful, traffic coming. Granite showroom. They sell countertops on the left hand side. The police just drove by us. That was a whole different paddy wagon, yo. We're now approaching Main Street. You go right, you got Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital on my right hand side. Let's go forward. We're at the intersection of McDade Boulevard and Main Street. I'm gonna cross over like one more block and then we'll make a left. top in front of us I see pickets P automotive repair state inspection and emission special $49 quick disclaimer my camera just overheated because it was in the direct sunlight so it shut off and went into protect mode um, but you guys didn't miss much I pretty much parked up on the block where it shut off at right now we're at Chester Pike and Walnut Street I'm trying to cross over Normally, I don't like to add any edits into these tours. I like to keep them, you know, one long video, just raw footage. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to combine these two clips. Hopefully, it doesn't shut off again. If it does, and we get a abrupt outro, then just know it's my fault. I got the air conditioner on. I don't wanna put it on full blast, because on full blast, you're not gonna be able to hear me. We got a park on my right hand side, Uncle Lou's annual derby um, tournament. There, there was a little uh, basketball court. It looked like a nice little basketball court too. We got Showtime Auto Body and Repair in front of us. We're approaching Mill Street. Gentleman on my right walking, looking kind of hot. DNA Auto on my left hand side. I had a vehicle behind me. Yeah, that was really disappointing. I was still talking and then boop, it just abruptly cut. I guess that's a good feature though. It's just the downside of these hot days. We got Columbia Avenue right here. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Columbia Avenue. And I got this vehicle behind me. There's a huge set of hills in Upper Darby and Darby, uh, PA. A lot of hills. This little doggy right here. Check him out. This little dog, cute dog. Super duper sunny. I seen that little EF Civic on my right hand side. All right, Commerce Street. We're at six in Commerce Street. I'm 
make this left hand turn on Commerce Street. I just gotta be careful. I wanna cross over. Make sure there's nobody coming. There's nobody coming. Six in Commerce Street. Just made a right hand turn. We got two story homes on my right hand side. Two story homes on my left. Closed porches, open porches. Stucco, we have some interesting stonework right here. I don't know if it's like granite, little uh, one inch by like four or five inch pieces of stone. They're doing a clean out on my right hand side. Looks like they're doing some demo work. It means demolition. We're at Fifth and Commerce Street. We got Chavez Custom Contracting on my left hand side. this left hand turn over here we're at fifth and main street yeah I think for the purpose of this tour I'm gonna have to keep it short because it's starting to get hot in here again uh, we're passing Darby quick mark on my left hand side if I turn it on full blast listen And then when I try to talk over it, I'm gonna have to scream. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to scream and I don't want to scream. We're at 4th and Main Street, but it's not looking too good. The heat is definitely doing a number on that battery. We're approaching 3rd Street. We got Main Street food market on my left hand side. Frank Steaks on my left hand side. Sides go. It looks a little bit rougher. Where you go, bro? Where you go? All right, I'm gonna make a right-hand turn at the corner because in front of us is a no outlet. because in Philly we have a front street and not far from front street just like this is a second street we're at front and fern uh, I'm gonna make a right hand turn make this right hand turn on front street the houses on my right hand side are raised we have serenity chalker center on my right congrats say yo Valentino Kenneth Looks like he graduated, so, so they put a graduation banner. We're at Front Street and Greenway. Yeah, a lot of the houses on my right are raised. A lot of the houses on my left-hand side are at a lower level. Not necessarily ground level, but like a foot or so off of ground level. The ones on my right were like five, six feet off of ground level. All right. We are currently on Woodland Avenue to my knowledge. Next to the 11 uh, bus stop. It takes you to the Derby Transportation Center. I'm gonna make this left-hand side and we're gonna work our way into Southwest Philadelphia to the Elmwood Park neighborhood.
Yeah, normally I don't spend a lot of time in neighborhoods like this because I don't know, it, it ain't it ain't really much going on. Yeah, I'm sure it probably has to do with the time of day and the weather. But yeah, they be mentioning some random places like, can you go do Bucks County or can you cover like Mont Montgomery County? And we're talking about little townships where like there's you know pretty large houses. Everybody's gonna be on their private property. You're not really gonna see much. <laughs> you ain't gonna see much, yo. All right, we just approach Cobb's Creek on my right hand side. You can get to the Walt Whitman Ridge. Wooden Ave on my left hand side, you know, you got I 95. All right, I see a gas and go mini market. Regular gas is 319, plus is 334, super is 369. Like somebody was just trying to squeeze right by me. Oh, that's wrong, people. Passing Island Ave. And now we're out of Darby, ladies and gentlemen. We're passing Cobbs Creek Parkway. Right. Now, we didn't do all of Darby today. I don't think that was necessary. We just touched a little bit of Darby. But I think that's going to complete today's little Darby tour. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't expect it to cut out all abruptly. Normally, I don't like that. But... It's cool. With that being said, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Let me know your thoughts, share any knowledge, share any memories. Make sure you subscribe to both channels, Tune Be Chillin' and Tune 215. Because when we reach our milestones for both channels, we're going to give away one GoTrax e scooter, brand new in the box. With that being said, this is your homeboy Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars, Tuning Magoonie. Tune be chilling. Tune 215. Y'all know. And I'm tuning out.